Hi Capricorn, hello again and welcome to your reading with me Jackie here on Romy Tarot. Okay, so Capricorn, as I said before, my readings will be short and sweet or to the point. Simply because I have a full-time job now, it consumes all my time and energy, so I really don't have time to do the readings, uh, longer readings or the readings I used to do, and I get very tired. Okay, but I am putting something out there for you guys each month, as little as it may be, it's something. Okay, so I do hope that you uh, like it, appreciate it, and uh, I thank you for your patience and your understanding in advance. All right, so let's not waffle on, let's get on with the reading. So the cards that came out for you, Capricorn, for this month, the month of August, let's have a look. All right, so you start with, from the Starman Tarot, you start with the Four of Cups. Okay, so the Four of Cups is a card. I do feel you're feeling disappointed about something, Capricorn, in some way. So you're feeling a little bit sad about something. Uh, but you could be doing more to help your situation. So whatever it is that's playing on your mind or making you feel down or anything like that, there is something more you could be doing about your situation whatever it is. If something's not happening for you at the moment, maybe you need to pull more, maybe you need to put more time and effort into something, more energy, oh excuse me, and more energy and focus on the outcome you really want or you really desire in some way, okay, with this card. Okay, so the next card I pulled for you Capricorn from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun is the Revenge card. Okay, so revenge, something seems to, with this card, apart from the word revenge, we are looking at something that seems too big or too much for you to handle. All right, if we look at the imagery of this uh, big figure here and the small one here. All right, something seems too much for you to handle at this particular time. This is, this also can, um, this is also a card of getting even with someone, okay, because of the revenge on it, especially in love situations. But this card is asking you to make more effort if you want to overcome a problem that you're having at the moment, okay, because it's a lot bigger. Uh, maybe you're making it a lot bigger than it really is or that you imagine it is, okay. Okay, so moving on. You have from the Lucid Dream Tarot, you have the Nine of Cups, which is a lovely card. You know, it's something here to celebrate. Um, the Nine of Cups, by making, as I say, by making the effort that I've been talking about, you will achieve what you want, okay? So you will get what you want or you will achieve what you want by making more effort and doing more about something, all right? So here we have... With the nine of cups, we have success, abundance, contentment, all right? Whatever you, whatever your problem is, self-control is needed or you may need to make some sort of sacrifices, all right? So to get what you want, you do need to make some sort of sacrifices. You need to stop something, you need to cut something out um, or maybe go without something that uh, that you don't really need. OK, so just think about that for your situation. OK, Capricorn, at this particular time. Now, everybody, every sign I've read for for this month gets one reversal. And the reason I've done that is because I just wanted to look uh, more into the situation, who's involved in the situation or, or the, you know, what the situation is. If, the, if there's an energy around you that's causing that's something worse or less or whatever it is it could be anything okay Capricorn so let's have a look so you got the king of wands in reverse so the king of wands is someone who cares too much about what other people think in the reverse he cares about you know what other pe people think he cares about his appearance um and sometimes it's about status and everything you know, caring about appearance and status, maybe everything to this person, you know, having some sort of status in the world uh, and also lacks complete, and you know, 
somebody who lacks confidence in themselves but this can also be um there could also be some sort of narcissistic narciss if i can say the word narcissistic traits going on here with the king of wands in reverse um feeding uh, someone has power over you or you have power over them or something like that Anyway, so I'm just looking at the cards. Uh, I do feel picking up messages about, of course, the although it's not here, the Eight of Swords and, and the Nine of Swords pop to mind. So worry and feeling trapped in a situation that you feel there's no way out of or you can't get out of or something like that. All right, so that's going to be for some of you. All right, so take that, as I say, where it resonates. Okay, so let's pull a card now for you guys from the Golden Girls. I did do any of you remember the Golden Girls? Um, if you're of a more mature age, you will possibly remember the Golden Girls. Anyway, it used to be an American series that was on the TV back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. And it was good. I used to watch it. It was funny. Uh, about three friends and their mother who lived together. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, check it out. <laughs> if you like. Anyway, I've got the Golden Girls Tarot here. And I'm going to pull one card. And I've got my own little storyline at the back of the card. That tells a little story about that card. Because that's what I like to do. Not with all my cards, but with a couple of my decks. Uh, if I see a lot of character in a card, I like to put my own twist on it. And that's what I see with this deck. So, here we go. Let's see. What have you got, Capricorn? Oh, you've got Sophia. Sophia was the mother. <laughs> and funny enough, you're the Queen of Coins, also the mother. Sort of like a, like a bit like an empress, really. Oh, you've got the Hierophant. So, <laughs> Sophie's uh, an Hierophant in this deck. Uh, Sophia is a strong believer in family traditions, respect and her own beliefs. She knows how to act appropriately, especially in public. But she's also stuck in her ways and finds it hard to adapt, change, change or do things differently. So, call me old-fashioned. <laughs> um, yeah, what, what a line, what a storyline that is, eh? Sophia is a strong believer in family traditions, respect and her own beliefs. She knows how to act appropriately, especially in public, but she's also stuck in her ways. All right, so we're picking up that stuck in your ways bit. And... Um, and finds it hard to adapt, change, or do things differently. So, yeah, adaptability for you, Capricorn, at the moment, and making changes will be very important and beneficial to you at the moment, okay? So, yeah. So that will be for some of you, not for all of you. And uh, I'm going to finish now with a message from the Whispers of Love. This is messages from... If spirit could say something to you right now, what they would, what would they say to you? What would they tell you? Uh, usually words of advice, wisdom and comfort. And um, yeah, so let's have a look. What do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn. Your card, act as if your partner is here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, act, do the things and act as if your partner was here. And your partner, yeah, it doesn't just have to be uh, in relationships. It'd be a part business partner, part, partner, look at me, a business partner, a, you know, business work partner, anything like that. But what it says, basically, Capricorn, is whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if 
they were with you so you will always consider them all right so you know it's about consideration you know considering yourself as well let me read that again whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they were with you so you will always consider them oh that's so sweet hmm <laughs> lovely here we go sorry capricorn didn't show it to you it's lovely oh you're the last sign I'm reading for, so I'm dwelling a little bit, <laughs> dwelling over the cards. And remember, nothing's too much for you to handle, so don't stress about it. All right, because I do see disappointment or stress or worry going on, especially with that Four of Cups. All right, Fe feeling that things are not going as planned or things are not going your way, but that things change because then you come into the nine of cups all right so there's a card of also of wish fulfillment so once you uh, start taking action do something about your situation things would start happening all right and act as well as if they were already as if they're already happening for you or they have happened all right Okay, Capricorn, I'll leave it there. I do hope it made sense in some way. Um, I do hope this resonated for some of you. As I say, it's not going to be for everybody. And um, at least I put something out for you guys each month, as little as it may be. All right. So thank you for listening. Please do enjoy your August, whatever it is you'll be doing. And um, yeah, I'll be back very soon. Thank you, Capricorn. Bye.